What's up guys, Axis here and I'm back with a new tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a grass landscape with a kind of wintry snowy peak on it. And um, I was just doing this scene and I just love the stratification, like the like the noise, uh, like just how you can see the stratification when it gets to the top. So I just wanted to do this tutorial now, but this is a work in progress. I'll probably have the final result on screen. But um, I'm just going to be running you through how to create a material like this using the brand new Landscape Essentials, which is 45% off until the 15th of January. If you want to go and grab that, then you can get landscapes like this. This is actually just, as you can see, a height map. So every landscape comes with a height map, a normal map, and a texture map. They're all 8K and uncompressed TIFF, so you're not going to get any stepping or anything like that. It's all really high quality, you can get in really close. Go and check it out in the top right hand corner and I'll see you back here with that in your car. <laughs> all right, let's get into this now. So I'm just gonna create a new uh, composition and create a, a plane. So we're just gonna go and grab one. I'll stop that render. Make a new octane material. Drag this on to your plane and then add a displacement. Actually, we're going to be using the node editor for this just because we're going to be using a couple of mixes and um, it might get a bit cluttered. So I'm going to start using it now instead of later. So what we need first off is we need three image textures. So that's for the texture map, which goes into the diffuse, the normal map, which goes into normal, and we need a displacement node, which will then go into our displacement. In our displacement, we can set the level of detail up to 8K because I've actually, all these are 8K that I've got. So I'm going to be using number 14 in the grass section, uh, grassland section, which has got a massive, as you can see, river flowing through it, which is really nice. We can stick a really nice specular material, which will reflect the, uh, the landscape. So um, let's drag this in here and do the same again for these other two. I'll just drag it off screen so it's faster. So that's the normal map there. And finally, the texture map. And there's a weird thing with landscapes or, or just any displacements inside of cinema where the edges kind of start tiling, which you can get rid of by basically scaling up very, very slightly. So if we just get a transform, and plug this into all of them. Actually, it's probably cleaner to um, to do one per one per um, image texture. So it's lagging a bit. So lock the aspect ratio. So we just have to change one parameter, and then we're going to scale up very slightly, as you can see there, by 0 0.02. Do the same for the other two. And there we go. That's our base for this. So if I just export this now, we'll be able to see the landscape. There we go. It's not looking too good at the moment. There we go. That's it there. I think um, I took it from this angle here. And um, maybe not actually. I don't remember what angle I did. I think it was this angle. But it's very, very fast. I might decrease the, uh, the size actually a bit. So maybe let's go down to there. So as you can see, you can see all the lovely stratification in this. It's looking very nice, very nice. Uh, let's bring in a daylight tag, daylight, octane daylight, that's what it is. Rotate this slightly. Gonna get a lovely sunset, twilight looking sky in here. And then we're also gonna bring in another plane which will be our water. So maybe up to here and make this new material. So go into 
shader, octane and material. Drag this on here, make this specular and you can see it's reflecting perfectly which is not what we want unless you've got like the calmest river of all time. I'm going to go and grab a noise, so noise here. And I really, I'm really liking the chips type here. It's quite nice. And if you go into the UVW transform, we can decrease the size of this, uh, and then you know increase the gamma. So then we get like little dots of uh, dots of river. You can even multiply this by another noise, which will which will look even more random, which will uh, look more natural, I guess. So something like that, and then if we turn up the index to water, I think that's like 1.55, um, we should get realistic index, if people are checking somehow. Um, and now we've got to start doing the mixing, mixing and mastering. So grab, a, let's go back into here and I'll make this half the screen. And open this up. And I'm just going to kind of put these, organize these a bit better. Move these all down so we have tons of space because we're not going to touch these actually. Uh, I might turn down the, the power a bit. That's about it though. Um, now we can start messing around with this. So if I just drag this all the way out here and stick this into a mix. Don't get this confused with mix material. Mix material is not a shader, it's a material. So yeah. Um, I'm going to also put this into a gradient. We're just going to be using this texture as basically a, a kind of map for where the, the grass will be. I'm actually going to be using another texture from the kit. So if I go and grab a gradient and we'll just do that here so we can see it better. There we go. I've got a nice rocky texture there. That's what I was going for the whole time. Um, and in fact, it'll be easier if I just show you here. So I'm going to, I think I turned this to a gray and then I turned this to a white or something like that. I'll check in a second, but basically that's it. Um, I think, it, yeah, it was white. Okay. And then we're going to put this into our mix. So this is going to be our mix amount here. And then in number one, we're going to put a rock texture so you can get this off the internet or you can get like a real displacement texture or whatever you want. Just type in, you know, like rock seamless or something. This one's all right. Let's see when it loads how, how good it is. It's not that good, but we're going to be scaling it down so much it might not matter. So yeah, I might just go with that one. All right, so now that's saved, let's just go and bring it in. So I wonder if we can just drag it. Oh, nice. Um, and then put this into texture one and we'll see what it looks like. Probably not look very nice at the moment if it will refresh. Um, and we need to put a transform in here too. Bring this all the way down. And I'm going to bring up the power. This doesn't seem to be loading at the moment. <sighs> or is it loaded? I can't I can't tell. Oh there we go. I think we're starting to see it now. But anyway, now we can grab a a grass material so I'm just going to go into the grassland section and grab a uh, 
Don't know which one I use. I kind of like these ones with the with the dirt, the bits of dirt on it. I think it looks really nice. Um, let's go with this one. Make sure you turn on mirror because these aren't seamless. So if you put on mirror, that is just going to make sure that there's not going to be any seams pretty much. It's like turning on seamless on standard render. Um, and now I'm going to put in a, where is it, color correction. Uh, this still isn't updating. Oh, <laughs> oh man, I didn't connect it, that's why. Now we'll be able to see. Yeah, so see, that's not looking too good at the moment. I think that's mainly because it's mixing with a really low quality texture. Um, if I turn this down. Also, I'm going to turn this to float. I don't want to see any color here from this one. And we'll see about the gradient. And then I'll plug this into the texture and grab a, where is it, transform and just turn on lock aspect ratio, turn this all the way down and there we've got something, we've got something there so I'm going to turn the uh, contrast, I mean the saturation down really low and the gamma, we're going to turn it up to make the material darker and turn the contrast up too as well maybe turn the brightness up to counteract all that so there we go we've got that and uh, I'm going to mess around with this now and see what I can uh, do with it A little bit of lag there. Okay. Yeah, that's looking good. And now we can put in another mix because this is where we're going to add the snowy peak to this, which is probably my favorite part. Um, so we're going to add the texture one and then I'm going to go into here and grab a winter texture. I think this one will be good. Oh, <laughs> double clicked on it thinking that I was opening it uh, through cinema. Right, there we go. Plug that in there. And the interesting thing about uh, height maps is that we can actually use this to fade the... Um... See, that's not really what we're going for. <laughs> Oh, damn it. Oh, I don't know what. Let me reopen that. I undid. I undid something that got rid of everything. Right, so I'm going to duplicate this first and then I'm going to bring in the mix. Mix, mix, mix. And then I'm going to bring in. I'm going to move this over so you guys can see. And I'm going to bring in. Put that to texture one first. And then we're going to bring winter texture in, snowy texture, into texture 2. And grab this, put that into the amount. And there we go, we see, it, we see it's fading, but it's not very natural. Um, snow doesn't really um, fade out like that. It kind of looks like a leaking concrete or something like that. It's, it's not looking too good at the moment, but if we grab a gradient, if I can find it again, gradient and put it there between both of them then I should be able to kind of clamp the values here there is also a clamp a clamp shader as well which you can mess around with okay that's good but we still don't have the little uh, stratification details which I was um, excited about but basically the way you do that is I didn't realize you could do this but if you go um, I knew you could do mode complex but basically, I thought you could only put like uh, noises and and uh, image textures into the, the values here, the value 1 and value 2, but you can actually put in dirt into these shaders, which is really cool because it actually uh, interacts with the height map. So if I turn 
uh, my strength up all the way and mess around with my radius, you can see that it's kind of forming to where the 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 contours and like the like the rocks are in the uh, the height map. So if I turn up details, you'd really be able to see this. Let's see if I can mess around with this and get it looking good. And then you can put this into value two as well. And there we have little like snows on ledges and stuff like that. It's such a cool shader. And there we go, there we've got the stratification coming in there. Maybe it's a bit too strong. You can turn down the details. But that is uh, quite nice. <laughs> so, um, you know, obviously you can mess around with these values. More snow, less snow. Make the entire thing snow. Do whatever you want. Um, but yeah, I just really like this. I think it's a really cool way of using the dirt shader as well. Um, and now you can just kind of mess around with the lighting. Maybe put in a sky in the background or, or export it with alpha and then do that later. Add fog. Do whatever you want. It's um, free rain. Get close to the, the water. It looks kind of cool too. Anyway, I'm just messing around now. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Um, and if you're interested in this, go and check it out. Um, this sale isn't going to be on forever. As I said, 15th of January is when the sale ends. So go and check it out. If you've got any questions, just uh, hit me up on Twitter or down in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.